Kevin here on behalf of Simple Tech Reviewers. Today we'll be installing our Core i7-4790K into our Asus Maximus 7 Hero motherboard. There's the CPU itself. You always want to handle it by the edges. Make sure you're working in a static free environment like this wooden table and tile ground. There's your 1150 socket. First thing you want to do is lift up the lever from uh, to the 90 degree position there. Then you want to flip up the retaining uh, cover. You want to make sure your CPU's arrow is lined up and facing the correct position there. As you can see there's the arrow. Put the cover back on and there should be no tension at all uh, being forced on the CPU. And there you go. That's how you install that part. Uh, stay tuned for step two on how to install our um, H100i uh, liquid cooling unit. Okay, now to part two of the CPU installation. We're now installing the water cooling block onto our um, Core i7. You need the bracket on the back. This one's already installed. Make sure you're using the correct bracket that comes with the H100i. All right. As you can see here, this unit does have a copper core with thermal compound pre-applied. So there's no need to apply any sort of thermal compound. Here are your um, liquid cooling. This is a self-contained unit, so you never have to fill it up like the traditional ones. Put the bracket around the water cooling block. Apply firm pressure while in, uh, inserting the screw, the thumb screws. Again, you want to do a uh, crisscross pattern, so you're not putting too much tension in one area. Again, this is a fairly toolless design. You can use a Phillips screwdriver if you wanted to, but these are thumb screws, so. And uh, remember not to over tighten, as always. Then I go back around again, make sure they're snug. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is Kevin on behalf of Simple Tech Rears signing out.